everyone. I'm on my way to Friesland and uh, I'm driving on the Afsluitdijk, which is a very large dike and um, it connects Friesland with North Holland. Those are two provinces in our country and on the right here you can see the Zuiderzee, the South Sea, and which is now a lake called the Isel Lake, because this dike closed off the sea, and you can't see it now because they're working on it on the left, but on the other side of the dike, on the left here, is the North Sea. Well, Baddensee, really. And um, why am I telling you this? It's because we're on our way, at, by the way, I'm not filming and driving. My mother is uh, with me in the car and she's filming. Uh, but um, we're on our way to a museum in Harlingen. And um, they have a very big doll's house. And it's all about the history of the towns in and around the South Sea. So that's why I'm showing you this uh, footage. We have arrived in Harlingen, which is a very pretty old Frisian seaside town, or actually it's a city, with city rights dating back to the year 1234. This building from 1647 has nothing to do with miniatures. I just liked it. And it's the restaurant where we had lunch. You can actually see the sea at the end of this street. Sorry the camera work is a bit wobbly, but I was trying to avoid a cyclist and a car. Here we are at the museum. This building dates from circa 1545 and the facades from 1744 and 1825. For two centuries this house was lived in by members of the Hanema family, hence the name of the museum, Het Hanema House, which means the Hanema House. Once inside the museum, we find the huge doll's house upstairs. You can tell it's a big house by the IKEA steps next to it, which look quite small there. The house is two and a half meters high, two and a half meters wide, and 90 centimeters deep. It was made in fourth scale by Daan Hensens from Amsterdam between 1990 and 2011. As I said when I was in a car, the rooms in the doll's house represent some of the historic interiors of towns around the South Sea, now the Isel Lake. Although not copies of actual interiors, the two rooms on the top floor represent 18th and 19th century interiors from cities like Hoorn and Amsterdam. Here we're peeking through the windows of the front room, which has a wonderful 18th century china cabinet filled with china, of course, a beautiful chandelier and a gorgeous tall case clock, among other things. The maker of all this, Daan Hensens, and his sister Frida for the ceramics and the textiles, used all original materials and construction techniques. And the clocks all work, either by winding them or using batteries. I am 
so sorry some parts of the video are so hard to see because of the reflection of the glass. There wasn't much I could do about that. From the front room we come into the Zaal, which is the great room or hall. We see another 18th century cabinet, and here the rolls of linen are proudly displayed. There's another beautiful working Dutch clock on the wall. Although these rooms represent city interiors, Above the 17th century fireplace hangs a lovely bucolic scene. The hearth is tiled with blue and white tiles and has a rather wonderful fire back. The conical copper pot with the lid was a very common feature in Dutch homes. It is called a doofpot used to put the burning embers from the fireplace into, at night for instance, so it can safely cool down and be reused. I love the large copper bucket with all the rivets, and I would like to try and make that myself, in 12 scale of course. It is amazing to me that Dan Hensens made all of these items himself. He has such a huge range of skills. On the left, another common feature in Dutch houses from that time, the box bed or cupboard bed. And above the bed, three beautiful ceramic blue and white plates are used as decoration. The middle floor shows rooms from the towns of Staphorst on the left and Hindelope on the right. The front door is typical for the Zaanstreek, an area just above Amsterdam. The entry hall with indoor privy in the back is also from that area. And I know it's hard to see because of the glass, sorry about that. This room on the right, a mixed Frisian interior with painted furniture from Hindelope, is often seen as typically Dutch, even though it is all quite regional. Practically every wooden surface has painted decorations. The child's high chair, the table and chairs, the cupboard from Assen Delft and the Bible cabinet. The tiled fireplace was a copy of one found on the island of Terschelling.
this beautifully painted cupboard from Assendelft, not Delft, but Assendelft near Amsterdam, has several biblical scenes painted on it. Like here, Adam and Eve, and Cain and Abel. The room on the left represents Stophorst, again with many pieces of furniture and objects seen as typically Dutch, like a clock, the oil lamps, the tin and copperware, and the painted plates and tiles. The text on the fireplace mantle says something like He who raises crops on his land will be rewarded with good or with goods. He who chases idleness will become tired of poverty. And the plate in the middle says poor but honest. <laughs> the tile tableau of the cat and dog, which are similar to the ones I painted for the kitchen in my Herengracht Kanaal house. And I also like the screen in the sliding window. Again, something I'd like to make for my Kanaal house Herengracht. The lower floor houses kitchens on the left and a maid's room on the right. The 19th century maid's room is very modestly furnished with an alcove bed, a chest of drawers and a mirror, a clock, as she couldn't be late for work, a table, chairs, and of course, a Bible. Next to the maid's room, we find the kitchen, which has a dining area, again with a Dutch clock, simple chairs and a table with tinware. The tinware coffee pot with tap is a more simple version of the one in the front room on the top floor. The table sits next to a beautiful five burner stove. There's wonderful copper on the wall and a copper kettle on the stove. Look at the little lid on the spout. That's just fantastic. I love this scene. To the left is the cooking kitchen, with another place for cooking, which is part stove, part open fire, where I suppose coal or peat would have been used. The sink with the water pump is on the left. And that concludes the tour of the Daan Hensen's doll's house at the Hanema house in Harlingen. If you enjoyed this vlog, please click on the little thumbs up button below. Until next time, 